In the context of the Hochschulforum Digitalisierung, I'm now talking to Ivan Ostrowitz, co-founder and CEO of Domosio. Welcome. So, in three sentences and five words, what do you do? In Domosio, we are combining cognitive science with big data and artificial intelligence to propose adaptive learning solutions. Well, what we aim is to um, improve the learning outcomes. That means you are offering a product for students? We are actually proposing products for universities to deal with all the data they have on learning, on research, on administrative, on CRM, to take the most of that because it's not important how much data you have, it's how much smart are you with the, this data. What was the driver of your idea for Domosio? Well, we started like with two things that we saw, is that we all learn in a different way, and finally the university is one size fits all education, and second is that when we learn something, we forget it. So we start to propose that algorithms that we're able to personalize the learning to each person. Finally, we found that it was not only important to uh, personalize the learning, it was also to put it in contact with other things like uh, competences uh, development, what companies need. So we also work with uh, universities to help them on the executive education. Give me a face expression for how it is to work with an academic institution and one for how it is to work with a company. <laughs> um, well, work with the universities is, and probably with companies is, all right, explain the difference. Well, the difference is um, universities have more, uh, let's say, academic approach to do this kind of, of transformation. So it's going to be more talking about research, talking about what could be, could be done and everything. And probably companies a little bit on the other, on the other way. They, they're going to just go straight to the point and don't have the time to, to think about it and say, okay, take one moment think about what you want to do and then let's, let's go for a project. So that's probably the, uh, the difference between both. So would you say that speaking about that, uh, adapting what you offer as a university, is it easier to drive innovation outside of an institution as a startup or is it possible within academic institutions? It, it's possible. I mean, the universities are doing research on, sometimes they are already thinking about what is going to be in five years, ten years, this kind of thing. So. The point is to look where we can work together and work, how we can uh, strengthen our forces. The other problem is, I mean, one of the things that we, we, we're challenging is how to finance this collaboration, especially with you are know, talking about public markets and public calls and, and these kind of things. It's complicated uh, because they, when it's a public call, you have very uh, res a lot of restrictions on, on how um, the university can pay a startup if they don't have three years old, but startup normally is one, two years old. Um, so these are the things we are, we are challenging to work with universities. But in the personal, I mean, in, in a personal way, an organization and what we can do together, together, it's it's there are a lot, a lot of things going on, and we're working really with different universities. If you're interested in that topic, check our interview below with the self-proclaimed edu rebel Dr. Markus Daimann of the University of Applied Science of Lübeck. You'll find the link below in the video description of this video.